So we got a question from Jim. Jim is 67 years old, a great age to be. Five foot nine and currently 250 pounds. I plan to lose about 50 pounds over the next year and perhaps more after that. Uh, Jim, 50 pounds is a lot to lose in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, a year. Um, but he then encourages us with the next line. As I've already lost about 15 pounds, I am having an issue with loose, saggy skin, sore, deflated water balloon look and feeling. Is there a reasonable way to deal with this issue? Will the skin eventually tighten up? Would hypertrophy training help fill up the empty space? I appreciate any advice you can give. I'm afraid a subconscious fear of this issue may be keeping me going, uh, uh, giving fat loss my best effort. Well, Jim, um, I'm certainly not an expert in this. Uh, being 67 is going to be an issue because, you know, as we know, after about, uh, gosh, it seems to happen earlier than you think, but let's just ballpark it. Say after age 40, your skin elasticity changes. I remember the great uh, Dirk Pearson concept where you would just take a little bit of your skin and you'd watch how long it took to get back to normal. So when I first did this, he was on the Merv Griffin show when he showed it. So I was probably in high school and I watched it and I, I went like this and my skin snapped back. Now, when I do that, my skin doesn't snap back. So issue number one is that you can really get a sense of what's going on in your whole system. And of those of you who are young, do the test. It's fascinating. And then do it with somebody who's a little bit older and you'll see the difference. Is that the skin is the largest organ of your body and it does change, you know, um, the connective tissue changes in your body as you age. You, and I'm sure everybody is over 40 has noticed this, it takes you longer to warm up, it takes you longer to get loose, whatever loose means, which is why I spend so much time every day doing the original strength work and, and the sauna. I do also original strength work in the sauna because I'm trying to keep back as much as I can the tightening of my connective tissues. So your problem is your skin. And as you lose weight, are you going to have saggy skin? I know that when people do the lap band and I know when they go on some of those shows, uh, you know, those, those shows, one show is called The Biggest Loser for a while. Terrible. What a horrible name for a TV show. But I just, well, we won't go there. Um, that that is an issue. Rapid, rapid fat, comma, weight loss does tend to have issues with skin, uh, with that tightness. Um, now, can you, can you put, you know, can you put oil valet on it or, you know, whatever thing you're using and, and help with that? Yeah, I mean, that's going to help. No, I mean, that's going to help. Um, I would recommend, and I don't, I, if you have a good dermatologist, uh, by the way, at your age, you should be seeing a dermatologist anyway because of, uh, you know, skin cancers and things like that. Ask them. Now, there might be magic creams and lotions I don't know about. Now, there is, there are some surgical procedures you can do, but from what I've been told, uh, the, the losing the skin one is not the, always the best option. The best thing you can do... Um, is of course, as you as you lose this body fat, I hope it is body fat, if you continue to train in the weight room so that you're keeping the lean body mass, I, I think that's probably your best answer. So I think the best answer is this, is gradually lose the body fat while doing your best to maintain muscle mass. Um, I don't know what your skin looks like. I don't know if you have stretch marks. I don't know what your situation is. But I think that's going to be a more of a medical intervention for some of this. Uh, maybe there's skin creams, like I said. Maybe there's lotions and stuff that I don't know about. But if you have to go down to the surgical level, let's make sure we exhaust every other option before we get there. If you can lose, you know, a pound or two a month of body fat, that'll take you two years to get to your goal. I think if you take two years to get to your goal, your chances of keeping your skin elasticity in a good place is going to be better. Now, I feel, I feel like I'm sliding over into medical advice, but I just, you know, I just, so I do would like you to see early, earlier than later, uh, a dermatologist and at least have that conversation 
and maybe the dermatologist might be able to say something very simple that'll help you long-term. Okay, thank you.